Okay, so this is a male um, tree wetter. From he he's a Hemidana crassidens, which is um, the tree wetter that's found locally around here. You can see he's got huge mandibles that he uses to fight. Because um, adult males usually have a harem of females that they guard um, so that other males can't mate with them. And they do that. The females live in um, tree cavities and the male will come out and um, guard the cavity and fight with the other males outside, which is why we proposed in our research that um, adult males might be more vulnerable to predation because they're conspicuous as they scrap outside trying to guard their females from other males. So you can see he's a bit of a goer. He's quite fierce when he gets going. He's got very large mandibles and he will draw blood if you get in the way. Um, but generally um, when males fight, uh, the fight doesn't go to an extreme where one of them will die. Usually they can sort it out before it gets to that point. But you can see that if adult males were vulnerable to predation and, and were eaten more by moorpork, for example, or by rats, um, that we would see a change in the sex ratio. So basically, um, we didn't see a change in the sex ratio, and so that tells us that um, although they seem to be more conspicuous out there fighting at night, and although um, you can see that they've put a lot of energy into developing these big, big heads and big mandibles, um, we're not quite sure what the cost to that is yet in terms of their life history.